Hi everyone, welcome to our procedure today. We are treating this patient for necklace lines, also known as tech neck, and in the submental area of the neck as well. And you can see here, I have just little marks marking where I wanted to place my threads. Um, whether or not you choose to mark is up to you. You can certainly see that static crease in which I'm targeting, and I am just going and placing my smooth threads directly into those creases to help stimulate some neocollagenesis that will help to diminish these lines over time. Um, so the patient, you can see her skin is very sensitive and typically she has this reaction from the topical numbing. Um, so that reddening for her generally goes away in about two hours. Um, so she we did numb her with a topical anesthesia for about five to 10 minutes before starting the procedure. And now we are using a VSoft Lift 29 gauge by 40 millimeter twisted thread. Your twisted threads are going to be the thread that stimulates the most collagen. It creates a little bit more injury upon placement of the threads, uh, a little more tissue injury, which induces your inflammatory response, which in turn is going to stimulate collagen. Um, and so we are placing these threads, like I said, directly into those creases to stimulate collagen in that particular area. These treatments are generally done in a sequence of three, and they are done generally four to six weeks apart. Um, and after that three months time, you can choose to give your patient a little bit of a break. Um, that three to six month mark is when we tend to stimulate the most collagen. That is our peak of neocollagenesis. And so I like to give my patients a break from three to six months and then see them back to reevaluate. At that time, if they are happy with their results, then I might choose to just treat them annually for maintenance. Um, but I feel like a lot of my patients love their results and want to continue to improve upon those results. And therefore we decide to start another round. And so then we'll start another round of maybe three treatments, or maybe they just want to do another two. Um, and so you can sort of play with the treatment plan. The thing that I would advise you on most and stress most is never to do less than three initially. Um, really in order to build that collagen, you need those three treatments um, one month apart. And so once you do that initial treatment, then you can sort of play with it, maybe add an extra two or three um, as you see fit depending on that patient. As you all know, in aesthetics, every patient is gonna be different depending on not only their anatomy, but what deficits they have and what treatment goals they have. And so, you know, we can play with that treatment regimen just depending on what, what they're trying to achieve. Um, and so just sort of getting back to our actual procedure here, you can see I've placed a 29 gauge by 40 millimeter twisted thread going in both directions. Um, we're going to stimulate collagen about one and a half millimeters from where that actual thread is placed. And when I double them up, it's just going to increase our results or improve our results even more. Um, and so I have decided to go in both directions for her just to really um, try and give her some pretty dramatic results. Um, and then we're placing a little bit, a couple of additional threads in this area where she has a little bit of laxity. Obviously you can see here, I have done her submental area specifically as well, but I'm just sort of placing just under that submental area to make sure that we get the whole neck. Again, if we if they stimulate collagen one and a half millimeters apart, then we have to be sure that we are um, developing a plan that's going to cover our entire treatment area so that every area of the neck is getting tightened and smoothed. Um, the most important part with smooth threads is upon removal, you need to turn 360 degrees prior to removing. This engages the thread into the tissue and will leave the thread behind in the tissue upon removal. So you're seeing I'm turning all of those threads and then I go back and remove them. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier as to know which threads are ready to be removed. So we will see this patient back in four weeks for another treatment um, and we'll be able to build upon her results at that time.